All right, YouTube, I'm going to try this again. <laughs> uh, and messing around with this Bofong radio, trying to make a video on programming it. I uh, had to make several attempts, as usual. Uh, I've already got the program pulled up, Chirp. Um, I highly recommend it. Let's see, we go to. I'll include all the links. Here's the uh, home page for Chirp where you can download it. And it does, it will program all these radios. And today I'll be programming the UVB5. Uh, <clears throat> and I'll also give you a direct link to Radio Reference and Repeater Book. These are some. Um, pages where you can get your frequencies for your uh, fire department, uh, police department, what have you. Um, you know, fire, you know, like I say, whatever. Greenville County, um, this is just me. You can look up whatever town you're in, city, county, blah, blah, blah. Like I live in TR. In case anybody didn't know, that's where the uh, TR comes from in my name. And, uh, and don't worry about these tones when you're programming in your uh, emergency services because you're not going to be talking back to them anyway um, they're just for you to listen to um, but what you can do with that chirp program that's one of the good things about it it'll open up the extra frequencies for like your marine MERS GMRS and different other things and MERS is one way if you did buy one of these radios you could use it um, sorry about that um, it is a uh, free unlicensed service similar to a CB and uh, and as long as you keep the radio on low power but in these frequencies right here you could uh, talk on it um, this frequency right here is what is considered the prepper frequency 151.8 Point eight eight two zero, but I'll, I'll get it out in a minute. Um, nobody's really talking on it now, but it's a MERS frequency that if um, crap hits a fan, blah blah blah, you know, everybody will start scanning that to hear if anybody local, any light minded people, you know, there may be people around you that are preparing for this and you, you don't even know them. Uh, and as long as you keep it under two watts is legal for you to talk to now in a uh, SHTF situation you might want to put it on high wattage but I didn't tell you that so anyhow getting back to the program <laughs> once you get everything downloaded your cable drivers which I'll include a link to that too the cable drivers can be a little tricky getting uh, to work right but that would be true even with your uh, factory software but I'll include a link that'll walk you through it real easy. Uh, anyway, you pull the program up, hit the radio button. We want to download from radio. You may have to; it may default to you know something else, and you have to you know put whatever radio you got. In this instance, we've got the Bofong. The UVB5 is the radio that we are programming. So I'm gonna hit OK. Turn the radio on, make sure it boots up, and we'll hit OK. You should see the little uh, light should be flashing red, let you know it's uploading. Alright, I've already been playing around with this, so we're going to let me take a few of these off right quick. Just for uh, demonstration purposes so I've already done this, sorry alright, that's good enough right now but when playing around with this, to do this uh, video I discovered something what you can do once you upload your radio to the program or radio program up to the radio 
Oh, let me go back up just a minute. When I first opened this up, it had 25 channels. And you can change that from 1 to 99. So we'll just put in 90 just for the, to show you. And then, boom, it'll give you 90 channels. So just so you'll know, we'll put it back at 99. Um, you can change the names. You can... Uh, Hate to get too technical here, but for right now, don't worry about these tones and stuff, and I'm going to show you why. So you want to see this import right there from data source. Go to radio, import from data source. This first one, I think you have to like register or something. It's probably free, but you got to go through, get my email address, and register with it. But this repeater book right here. You can go in here, set up whatever state you want. In my instance is South Carolina, Greenville County, whatever county. And these radios are 2 meter and 70 centimeter. That's your dual band. That's the two bands it covers. So let's go to 2 meters. Hit OK. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to back up here. I got to turn my dead gun modem on. I believe that crap. Hang on just one second. Let's see if I can get this thing to work right quick. I don't want to reshoot the video. I done shot this thing about five times. Alright, got it. Up. There we go. <laughs> I'm totally mobile right now. Uh, okay, let's go back to that repeater book. Um, like I said, I got it set at two meters. Hit OK. Boom. It'll pull up pull up the repeaters in my state. The only reason this one's in gray is because I already put that in in another spot. So, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and it ain't going to let down. I already programmed it in at like 25 or something in an earlier video. But uh, that's the call sign or FCC of. Uh, License number or call sign or whatever. Um, I don't think it wants you to change it here. Yeah, you can change it here. Um, you know, we can just put, you know, whatever, Greenville. And then, uh, you know, I want to go ahead and put that as uh, that's Caesar's head. So we'll just put C. Since you're going to use five letters, let's do it that way. That way I'll know what it is. Uh, then hit OK. And boom. It'll put them in there for you. So you don't have to know about these tones. You don't have to know if it's negative or positive. Uh, you know, the offset. You don't have to know what the offset is. So here on the 70 centimeters, there's five. On the uh, two meter, it's 0.6. Uh, now B, since I have my license and I would be talking on these, I would go back and put this on high. That's a wattage. No, I missed. I'll put it on high. And I definitely don't want it to skip. You can make it skip when you scan, but I don't want it to skip. So I'm going to leave it the skip option off. Uh, and I can go back and change any of this. I want to rename that something else. Uh, doesn't matter. And like the uh, MERS channels I was talking about, we can go right here. And that was uh, 151.820. Boom. And we'll put in uh, Prepper. So I know that's so on the radio, it'll show up as prepper. You can set the radio up. You'll have to do this manually through the menu on the radio. When you go through the channels, it'll either come up the frequency or it'll come up the channel name. So you got to do that with the radio manually. So and that, it's, no, it's not hard. You just hit the menu button and scroll through, and it's fairly self explanatory. There'll be a bunch of crap in there. You won't know what it's talking about. Just ignore it, skip it. It don't matter because you're probably just listening to it anyway. But if you do have your license, I'm sure I'm not. I'm preaching to the choir. Y'all probably already know about this. 
uh, and then on the MERS frequency and even the 2 meter and 70 centimeter unless you're bouncing off a repeater if you're not bouncing off a repeater say if I want to use this frequency right here to talk to a buddy of mine um, that's nearby and we don't need a repeater with them you know we say we're five ten miles apart from each other and we can use it uh, I don't need a res uh, offset I don't need a tone or anything like that when you're talking direct frequency that's all you need uh, and that's the same true with this uh, prepper uh, frequency so all right get off of there get off of there anyway uh, and just try to keep it <laughs> this quick and simple that's pretty much it um, like I say I've already programmed these in here just for the hell of it I'll show you again uh, we'll go to repeater but let's just say since I traveled to North Carolina it's very close to me and that's where I go ride my motorcycle let's put in uh, North Carolina uh, Henderson County uh, yeah Henderson County because I ride around Hendersonville a good bit it's right on the other side of the hill put that in there alright there's a Hendersonville repeaters and we'll say we'll go to We'll just make this one 15. So these ones in the yellow is where it's going to put it. 16, 17. Oh wow, that one's not highlighted. Anyway, must already have it in there by accident. 18. All right. And then, like I said, I could change this name here if I wanted to, but I'm not worried about that now. Boom. There they are. 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, any offset, I mean, any tones that need to be in there. What offset, how much, say that one's plus 0. 0.6 and that one's negative 0. 0.6. So it's not always the same. It can be different. And then, like I said, I could go back and uh, change that to high or low or whatever. Uh, like I said, on the prepper thing, you would want to, on that merge right there. I don't know why I got it on high. You want that on low, um, and then it would be legal for you to talk on it. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. That's just a neat little trick in case anybody didn't know about it. I didn't know about it till about 15 minutes ago. So, And I've already used this program several times. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to upload that to the radio. And I think I said this. Your COM port could be different. It just depends on your... Uh, computer however it configures it yep, everything's good boom little lights flashing real fast green this time but there you go program that's it wait for my radio to boot back up and it did and it's uh ready to go that's all there is to it youtube pretty simple pretty neat little trick learn something new every day and we'll stop right there